Hey, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Hobo back again with more NFL predictions this time. We are in regular season week 14 and we've got a couple of great matchups this week and we're going to kick things off tomorrow night, Thursday, December 6th on Fox NFL Network and Amazon Prime Video at 8.20 p.m. We've got the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Tennessee Titans. And as many of us know, the Jaguars have uh, been subpar this season. Uh, surprisingly so after last year's great year. And the Titans have been up and down. They've beaten good teams and they've lost to good teams and they've lost to bad teams and they've beaten bad teams. But I think the Titans walk away with a win in this game. I don't think that Jags defense is good enough to contain what's been a an average offense that can score points as evident as evident by the fact they've beaten the Patriots, you know. So I'm going to take the Titans in this game. And, uh... I, I think it'll be a good one. So I, I would say tune into that matchup on December 6th. Next up, December 9th, we have on CBS at 1 p.m. The New York Jets visiting the Buffalo Bills. Uh, the Jets, they made it a game against the Titans last week and then just got beat. They really choked away that game. And um, I think that they're going to start Josh McCown. And if Josh McCown starts, I'm going to take the Bills. But if Sam Darnold plays, I'm going to take the Jets. So I think that uh, McCown is playing. So I'm going to take the Bills in this game. I just think at this juncture, they're a much better team than the New York Jets. Next up on Fox, it is the New York Giants visiting the Washington Redskins. And the Redskins are short another quarterback. Colt McCoy, broken leg. That makes two Washington Redskin quarterbacks to go out with broken legs. So your quarterbacks to start... In week 14 against the Giants for the Redskins are going to be Mark Sanchez and Josh McCown or uh, Josh Johnson. Mark Sanchez, Josh Johnson, unreal. And I think that alone is going to propel the Giants to a victory. Uh, I just don't see how that Redskin offense can do anything with Mark Sanchez and Josh Johnson, especially with no threats anywhere on that offense. I just think that the Giants defense, even without Landon Collins, will still be able to uh, generate turnovers and win this game. And, you know, Saquon Barkley in the offense, obviously, are going to have an impact, but I think this game is probably going to be decided based on the quarterback play of the Redskins, so I'm going to take the Giants in this game. Next up on Fox is the Saints and the Buccaneers. This one's not close to me. I'm going to get the Saints in a rebound game. I think they'll recover big time and uh, knock off the Buccaneers. Next up on CBS is the Patriots and the Dolphins. The Dolphins really were the boy who cried wolf early in the season. They were like, look at us, look at us, we're good, we're good. Everybody's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, you know, they get to 4-0 and and everybody's like, wow, look at the Dolphins, they're pretty good. And nope, the Patriots smacked them down just the same as they're going to do on December 9th on Sunday. And it's going to be the Patriots in a big win. Next up on CBS, it'll be the Baltimore Ravens visiting the Kansas City Chiefs. To me, the Ravens' defense is the the X factor in this game. I don't think we've really seen the Chiefs' offense go up against a great defense in the way that I think the Ravens are a very good defense. And if the Ravens' defense plays okay, then I'm going to give them a shot in this game. But with Lamar Jackson at quarterback, I'm sorry, I just don't see it there. So I'm going to take the Chiefs in this game, and I think they're going to win by a couple scores. Next up on CBS, it'll be the Indianapolis Colts visiting the Houston Texans. And I'm going to take the Texans in this game. They're the hottest team in pro football. Nine straight wins. The only team in the history of the league to go 8-0 after starting 0-3. And they've done 9-0 after starting 0-3. So the history-making Texans. And I think if they win this game, their toughest test is out of the way. And they can focus on perhaps making it to 13-3. And being the only team ever to win 13 straight after starting 0-3. And that would be impressive. So I'm going to take the Texans in this game. I just don't think after that blowout, after that shutout loss last week, I should say, to the Jaguars, that the Colts are anything, that they're anything serious. So I'm going to take the Texans. Next up on Fox, the Atlanta Falcons visit the Green Bay Packers. I'm going to take the Falcons just because their offense can generate points, and the Packers' offense sucks. Even without Mike McCarthy... There to bog up play calling. I'm still going to take the Falcons. Next up on Fox, it'll be the Panthers and the Browns. I'm actually going to take the Browns in this game. I think the Panthers are vastly overrated. 
And uh, without Christian McCaffrey, they wouldn't even be in the spot they're in. He is one of the best young running backs in the entire game. So I, I like Christian McCaffrey a lot, but I don't like the Panthers. I like the Browns, however. I like Baker Mayfield. And I think that he's going to bounce back after that the really awkward performance he had against Houston. But I think that's just a testament to how great the defense is in Houston rather than to how poor the quarterback plays in Cleveland. Because if you watch Baker Mayfield, you'll know he's one of the best young quarterbacks in the game. So I think he just had an off day. And everybody deserves one off day. And that was his. So I think he bounces back and they pick up a big win against the Panthers. Next up, 4.05 p.m. on CBS. The Denver Broncos visit the San Francisco 49ers. And the Broncos are now without Emmanuel Sanders for the remainder of the season. And the 49ers are without any sense of direction for the next 10 seasons. So I'm going to take the Broncos in this game. I think that uh, their defense gets it together and shuts down an already very poor 49er offense. And I think that Phillip Lindsay propels this Broncos team into the playoffs. Catapults them, rather. So I'm going to take the Broncos in this game, and I like them. They're getting hot. 4 or 5 p.m. on CBS, the Bengals will visit the Chargers. And the Chargers are going to walk all over the Bengals. This game won't be close. It won't be pretty. It'll probably be a multiple-score game, I think. And I'm going to take the Chargers in a big one over Cincinnati. 4.25 p.m. on Fox, the Lions will visit the Cardinals. And I'm going to take the Lions in this game. Cardinals, Josh Rosen, he's... uh. He hasn't shown me that he's got the it factor yet to become a professional at his pos- at his profession, <laughs> rather. Uh, and, I, I, you know, the Lions, they're an anomaly this year. I think that they really should have been better, but you trade away Golden Tate and you trade four better players on your defense and you somehow end up worse. And, you know, I, I'm not a Lions fan. I don't know if it's a combination of injuries or bad play calling or bad coaching. What I can tell you is it's surprising. Surprising the hell out of me, anyway. And uh, I'm, I'm going to take them in this game, though. I think the Cardinals are just that bad. So I like the Lions in this matchup. Next up, 425 on Fox. The Steelers will visit the Raiders. And I like the Steelers in this game in a bounce-back performance. Next, uh, 425 on Fox. The Eagles will visit the Cowboys. And for the love of God, can they tie, please? Holy shit. But uh, I think I'm going to take the Eagles in this game. I think they're... I don't, you know, I, I don't know. I really wish I didn't have to pick this game because I hate the NFC East. I hate these two teams. So, I, I mean, I guess I just got to pick the lesser two evils at this point, and that's the Eagles because the Cowboys have, what, four wins in a row? Oh, big, big deal. Texans have nine. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take the Eagles in this game because I just hate the Cowboys that much. Then, 8.20 p.m. on Sunday Night Football, the game that got flexed into this position. Lucky. Lucky for NBC, Al Michaels and Chris Collinsworth, because they get to see the Rams face the Bears. And I know the Bears really got dominated for much of that game against the Giants last week. But, you know, there were a couple big plays from their quarterback away from winning that game. You know, if it goes down the way it does and you just swap Chase Daniel out for Mitchell Trubisky, I think it's a different outcome. And Mitchell Trubisky is the X factor. If he's ready to go against the Rams, then I think they've got a good shot because they're they're good on both sides of the ball. Well, the Rams are porous on defense, and their offense was a little sluggish last week against the Lions. So I'm actually going to pick the Bears. Yes, you heard me right. I'm going to pick the Bears in this game to beat the one-loss uh, L.A. Rams. It's going to be a big upset in my opinion, but I, I like the Bears in this game. Then Monday, December 10th, 8.15 on ESPN, the Vikings will visit the Seahawks. And I like the Seahawks. They are the league leading team in rushing this year. And I think that uh, I think their offense is just that good. You know, you can run the ball on any defense. And when you run the ball, you set up play action. You give Russell Wilson enough time to throw, he'll make things happen. I like these Seahawks, and I don't like these Vikings particularly. So I'm going to take the Seahawks in this game. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. For this week in the NFL, of course, no teams on bye. And uh, playoffs are swiftly approaching. We have three weeks left, not including this week, in the NFL. So it's crunch time. And it's going to come down to uh, some big games from some big-time teams to uh, to forge their path into the playoffs. And I'm very excited for this postseason. And, of course, as a Giants fan, I'm very excited for next season. But uh, 
We'll get there when it comes. So that's going to do it for week 14 in the NFL, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to catch you right back here next week on the 15th, or for the 15th week, rather, <laughs> for some more football action. So thank you guys for watching. That's going to do it for me, your boy Hobo. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.